Welcome to SharingYourPassion.com. I am Chill and my goal is to help people create an online business which can also be called digital or online marketing. To do so, I'll be teaching you how to create your own website using WordPress, do email automation, make online courses, add membership access, earn through affiliate marketing, and lots more. Subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're interested in any or all of these. Thank you. Okay, I've just gotten through deleting a bunch of plugins that were pre-installed um, when I set up WordPress in this host, which is a site, SiteGround. Um, and many hosts, the three host services that I belong to, which is Bluehost, this one, SiteGround, and oneandone.com, they all pre-install a bunch of plugins because I guess they, they believe that these plugins are very useful and also a lot of the plugins they they pre-install by default are you know free trial versions of of plugins that you can upgrade for more advanced professional features and one of them is monster insights monster insights for google analytics that's your ability to see statistics based on the traffic you have on your website and it's being tracked by your Google Analytics code and um, here this plugin manages that ID that Google An Analytics ID and can give you your statistics what I don't like about Monster Insights although I, I like how their their um, their what do you call it their look their graphics if you go to if you go to insights <laughs> they give you nice graphical representation of your statistics they even have a pie chart here countries but what I don't like is a lot of their features need you to be upgraded to the Monster Insights Pro and um, where did I see that earlier back in the home and these insights whenever I clicked on some other features I believe yeah like that one unlock the publishers report and focus on content that matters you need to have pro version upgrade I don't know how much it costs but I don't want to pay for any of this this one needs an upgrade also device breakdown you need pro so you know what for me that's kind of bloatware and I don't need that I don't want to pay for that because there's an alternate that's free so what I'm gonna do is in my new install of WordPress in SiteGround for my domain name seize the email dot com I'm going to remove monster insights first I'll deactivate it Ooh, it expired we'll just get rid of it then okay now it's deactivated now I can delete it I guess okay boom gone so what I want to the plugin I want to to manage my Google Analytics ID in WordPress because you can always go back to your Google Analytics account to see all the stats there but for convenience um, you'd want a plugin right in your WordPress so the one I'm using is like what I'm using on another small website I have and it's called I think Google Analytics um, <laughs> dashboard for WP WordPress so just search this plugin copy GAD whoop <laughs> GAD whoop let's go search for that oh that's searching in my current directory I have to search the plugin over here add new search plugins
this is it. And this is one of the most popular free plugins for analytics. And they do a good job, and I think they do an efficient job. They don't give you all that bloatware for upgrades. It's totally free. Let's install it now. And activate it. Okay, so it's running. So I'll have to um, input my my um, analytics code. Let's let's do that right now. Let's go find my analytics code for seize the email dot com. There you are. There's the code. Okay, this is my tracking ID. Copy that. And um, let's go into settings of GADWAP. You need to create a free analytics account. Already have that. Developer mode. Authorize plugin. Use this link to get your one time use access code. Hmm. Get access code. Okay, I'll have to uh, do some logins now. And which one? Google Analytics dashboard for WP. He wants access to your Google account. Okay. This will allow Google Analytics dashboard for WordPress to view your Google Analytics data. Make sure you trust. Yeah, I trust them. Please copy this code. Switch to your application and paste it there. Boom. Save access code. Okay, so I did not have to um, copy the tracking ID. I had to copy that access code, which grabbed the necessary information from my Google Analytics account. And yeah, it imp inputted the proper code right there. And also the proper URL. And that's probably the two main ones and the time zone. So there you have it. We now have Gadwoop working on a fresh install in SiteGround for my domain, seizetheemail.com. Let's see if we can see. Yeah, this is that dashboard. Google Analytics dashboard and there's zero visitors. Oh. <laughs> Everything's brand new so we'd expect that. So yeah, I mean they don't have the most fancy graphical interface compared with uh, Monster Insights. But you know what, you don't need it. If you want fancy stuff, go to your Google Analytics account and see all your stats there, right? and you just want a quick update status while you're in WordPress managing your domain, your website. And you can just grab it from or glance it from your dashboard right here, right in your WordPress dashboard. So that's why I, I recommend this plugin over Monster Insights because Monster Insights is withholding a lot of data until until you upgrade and then I, and I don't feel like I want to pay for that kind of upgrade. I'll save my money elsewhere. Thanks.